Hello everybody out there, Mr. Fix-It Land. Hope everybody's doing well. Today's fun day. A nice filled up, backed up tub. So let's learn a little bit about what to do if you are a homeowner or a landlord and don't want to call a plumber. First thing you want to do is get a hold of one of these. They're cheap. Anybody can own one. It doesn't take a rocket science to use it. Rocket science test. We're going to remove the overflow uh, line here that connects down to the stopper. First, before we do that, let's make some, see if anything's wrong with this. Pull it out. Doesn't seem like it's working too well. So let's start with that before I start attacking this. These are long ass bolts. Takes a minute. I suggest you wear gloves when you do these types of things. You don't know what you're gonna pull out. Most likely hair, but it can still be gross. Come on there, fella. Let's go, let's go, time is money. All right, so here's your overflow lever. And this takes you down to the stopper. So pulling the stopper out did not stop uh, drain this. So we know now that this wasn't stuck in the closed position. So what I'm gonna do from here is we're gonna take our auger little handheld here. You know, press this little button. All of them work a little different than the others. This one you press the button to release it until you get the solid. And you want to stay nice and close to the line once you get to that solid part. Here we go, right there. Because you want to be able to push on it. If you're too far out here, the wire will curl and you'll have no ability to push in while you spin. Now what we're doing here, you see it's spin, spun out on its own is we're trying to get this to go down and then there's a drum there that connects to right here but then the drain goes in the other direction so we have to actually try to feed this and, and rotate it and fiddle with it so the snake finds that opening and goes in there and that's what I'm battling right now Definitely in found the line. I'll just keep feeding this in.
doing something, I hit something right because the line level is going down here, the water level is starting to go down. So I most likely have something on here. And I'm free right now to feed the line pretty simply by hand. That tells me I made it in. So here's what we're gonna do now is we're gonna back her back up. ourselves a fishy. Water's going down now. Woohoo! Look what I found. Gee, I wonder why the water wasn't draining. Things all clogged up too. Now see that swirl there? Look at that. That's what you want to see in your drain. That's good news. And then that nice gurgle gurgle. So this piece right here that they put in there to catch the hair, obviously number one isn't catching the hair. But number two, look at it. These holes are all blocked up. So the combination of the rat nest I just caught, and I'm going to clean this and put it back. That should be it. So I'll clean this real quick. Here we go. And as you can see, the drain is draining just fine now. I don't know what all this red stuff is. Probably hair coloring. It's going down nice. My little hair pressure. Working way better. Right down the drain. Gurgle, gurgle. So now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to make this thing work properly. So the first thing I want to do is drop it down and see if I hear a clink. I want it to stop at the bottom. I want to know when it hits the bottom. And that's how you make an adjustment right here. With these two screws, you go up and down this rod. So that way, when you're at a, the right height, you can see how this is in there. So this would drop into the hole when it's in the up mode. And then when you pull it, I mean, in the down mode, when you pull it down. Oh, geez, it's kind of tough. Uh, I'm sorry, down mode, and then it pulls it up. And then when you want it to turn on, you want to stop the water so you can fill the tub, you put it down. Up, down. But the way to find the distance, so I'm in the down position right now. And I want to see if it hits the bottom. And I can actually hear it. Okay, so I know right there is bottom. It's in the down position. There's no way that this thing's gonna lift up from there. So we're gonna adjust it up. It's gonna be a pain because they've been sitting here for so many years, you know, you don't know how many years. So it gets hard to thread these up the thread. So I'm gonna eyeball what I saw there and I think I'm gonna come up probably about that much. Let it hit the screw, take the bottom. 
bottom hasn't moved in about 20 years. At some point this should get loose enough for my hand. That'll keep it from going up and down as it's being used. It won't go up and down the threaded rod on its own. Now let's see if I can get it right on the first try. All right, this is gonna be in the up mode. Mm -hmm. Approximately the right height here. All right, let's put the screws back in. sit around doing nothing. Make them work. Right and left. Time is money. Let's go. Let's go. And button her up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you save yourself upwards of $180 to $220 service call from a drain company. Bye-bye. Once again, thank you all for coming. I now get the fun part of cutting that rack's nest off the end of my tool. Later.